Kia ora. Time for the Bachelorette New Zealand recap. I'm Mama C. This is like take 175 because I keep going off in tangents how much I hate Mark. So I'm going to try not to touch, say how much I hate Mark in this one. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Anyway, so last time we had one of us with Jesse and Lily, Jonathan and Lucina. And apparently we still aren't done with Steve's smoking issue, which is ridiculous. Can we just put this to bed? Tonight is episode 10, Cocktail Party Time. Steve says he's going to pull Lucina aside because he hasn't seen her at all and he misses her. Jonathan hopes for a chat. Connor's nervous and thinks everyone needs a word with the ladies because, you know, it's crunch time. Four guys already have roses. There's only nine left. And then we find out that in the next, I think they said 24 hours, three bachelors are going home. So, yes, it's crunch time. The girls ask everyone how their day was. Jonathan takes a spin on the dance floor with Lucina. Steve busts the move. Lucina asks to have a chat with George. She wants to touch base and ask about his date with Lily, which went well, I think, because, uh, you know, they had a chat about that kind of thing. Uh, Lily talks with Jonathan about his plans for the future. Jonathan stumbles a bit, says he wants kids in a year or two. Um, kind of freaks Lily out a bit. Hmm. Steve breaks in for a chance to chat with Lucina. She congratulates him for winning the jersey, but he says he feels like he got runner-up because, you know, even though he got the jersey, but, you know, Mark got the real prize, which was time with her. So, yeah. Well said, buddy. <laughs> Jesse busts in, but Jonathan puts him off. Jonathan is then struggling at this point because then he's just repeating what he's already said. Mm. Steve says he wants to spend more time with Lucina. He says, you know, I'm still here, and he's still interested, and, you know, he's not giving up yet. Jesse finally gets to bust in and chat with Lily. Lily really likes Jesse, and Jesse obviously really wants to get to know her. Aaron asks Lily for a chat. He brings up the group date and says he owed her an apology because, of, you know, not talking to her and coming off cold, but not meaning to because he was trying to respect Lucina. And in the past, he explains that when he has chatted with uh, someone, uh, another girl, even platonically, that it's gotten him into trouble. So he was just trying to avoid drama. And at this point, she gets that. And she says, you know, um, she thinks that he's gone up in her eyes. Yeah. Lucina chats around. Tavita discusses his hernia. Mmm, poor bloke. That, no fun. They have a few laughs. Meanwhile, Quinn is getting time with Lily. They do some kissing. And it was really sweet, too. Oh, Quinn, he is so cute. <laughs> Art meets up with the ladies. Um, remember, four guys already have roses. That is Logan, Mark, Terrence, and Jesse. Gag me, Mark. Blah. They talk through the guys. Art addresses the guys. They talk of the highs and lows they've been on through this experience. Quinn feels that Jesse is definitely his competition. You know, he's a good-looking guy. He's got a good chat. So he's definitely his competition. Lucina enters looking amazing and sparkles. Yeah, just, of course, she looks great in everything. She picks Steve first for her first rose. Lily's first pick is Quinn. Lucina then picks Aaron. Lily selects Flynn. Lucina picks Tavita. Lily picks Liam. Lucina then calls George because she says she has plans for him. They don't include her, but she has plans for him, which means it's for Lily. Yes, so we figured that out. Uh, and then Lily's final rose goes to Connor. And Jonathan is devastated. And then Lucina starts to cry. But Jonathan, being the stand-up guy he is, he comes over and he embraces her. And he says she has a bunch of great guys there. And, you know, he's such a sweetheart. He really is. She says that, you know, if it's this hard with him, who she felt, you know, like he was a good friend, that, you know, how much more difficult is it going to be when it comes to these guys leaving that she has feelings for? Hmm. Right? So next day, some single dates. Lucina chooses Tabita, Flynn for Lily. They do a scavenger hunt, which was great. Whoever came up with this idea, I loved it. Loved it. It was awesome. How fun to go to another country and then get to see the sights and stuff, but also have a scavenger hunt. I thought that was brilliant. So, cat pie, whoever came up with that, that was brilliant. Hmm. First thing they had to figure out, like the final resting place for a spiritual leader, Tabita, he figures out the clue. Logan is back at the place writing a note to cheer Lucina after the rose ceremony when she was so sad. Um, so he's trying to cheer her up. 
He's the perpetual romantic, isn't he? The boys clown around. Aaron is doing a camera one-on-one. -on -one. Now, sadly, what he thought was private and a, just a diary cam is overheard by Logan, hmm. which irritates him. And uh, he says he isn't above saying something. I know. This is going to turn into something bad, isn't it? Tavita and Lucina chat. He says he jokes around a lot, and that is sort of a coping mechanism, I think is how we put it. Uh, he shares some very personal stuff, and Lucina is grateful. And uh, she thinks he understands him better now. And, and I do, too. Yeah, you kind of get a bit, because, you know, he's he's kind of quirky and jokey and stuff, and yet you kind of get a his reasons for that so you kind of understand him better they continue with the scavenger hunt uh, Lucina and Tavita made it first to the end destination Lily and Flynn had to be told where to go at the end but that's all okay. right they're taken back to uh, or to a back room which is like an old-time speakeasy it was really cool uh, so that was kind of was kind of cool Lily wants to make sure that she and Flynn you know what's going on with that are they in the same spots are they not uh, you know in life and that sort of thing which is why she ultimately selected him because I mean poor guy hasn't had any time Lily says hanging with Flynn is like hanging with a friend oh no poor Flynn's been friend zoned oh no oh, dear poor <laughs> poor Flynn but that's what it looks like Tavita says he doesn't mind waiting to kiss Lucina because obviously it's worth the wait and he wants it to be more organic fair enough well done you Logan confronts Aaron about the whole overhearing thing. Uh, he spills all the stuff he overheard. So in front of all the guys, Aaron obviously is annoyed with himself. But to be fair, not really because, you know, he was being honest and it was a diary cam and it wasn't meant to be overheard. And that's how he feels. So at the end of the day, pull your head out. Everybody suck it up and stop sucking about. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did your widow feelings get hurt? You'll be fine. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, but sadly, he worries about the aftermath from Jesse and Mark. But it's okay, because, you know, Mark only has one arrow in his quiver, and that's to take his clothes off, which he's going to do again, apparently, tomorrow night. Or tonight, I guess, is the thing, because I had to put this off, because I was so pissed off. <laughs> We see Aaron being shattered, so obviously there's aftermath from this whole thing from being overheard. And like I said, because Mark has no other arrows in his quiver, he's going to take his clothes off again. Making your little girl proud, are you, buddy? Hmm. That's right. Well, we know he's not the smartest uh, guy in there, so obviously. He has nothing else to offer, so he's going to get naked again. Congratulations, Mark. You just confirmed that you only came on here for screen time. Because if you really wanted your woman to, you know, be impressed with you, you wouldn't drop your trow every chance you get. Seriously, what is wrong with you? <sighs> okay. At least that was much milder than my last rant, so we might just leave this one in. <laughs> all right, so that wraps it up for tonight. God, we'll do it all again <laughs> for tonight's show. I'm Mama C. Have a great day, wherever you are.